My name is Marta Birska Bishop, and I'm a fifth year PhD student uh, at Ross's Hardison Lab here at Penn State. So my research is focused on trying to understand a mechanism by which certain group of blood disorder arises in humans, especially in children with Down syndrome. For example, about 10% of children with Down syndrome are born with a, a so-called transient myeloproliferative disorder, TMD in short, which is basically like a preleukemic disorder. Down syndrome patients suffering from those diseases all carry a mutation in a gene um, that encodes for a transcription factor called GATA1. So what we are trying to understand is what is the functional implication of these uh, mutations in GATA1 and in particular what is the mechanism by which these mutations cause um, that these diseases, the Human Genome Project has been completed in uh, early 2000 it became possible to um, generate these really genome-wide scale uh, data sets. So now we can actually study function of genes and study how genome works together in order to generate biological function. So these days, biologists can generate gigabytes and ter or even terabytes of data from a single experiment. So it's very, these days in biology, it's really critical that Experimental biologists work together with computational biologists in order to, um, you know, solve all these all these problems. So, for example, like I mentioned to you, um, uh, our collaborators at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, they are responsible for doing all these amazing experiments, taking you know samples from patients, inducing pluripotent stem cells from them, then differentiating them to all sorts of blood cells, and then they do the experiments, but then they are left with all this um, data which has to be analyzed, and that's where we come in and we bring our expertise in dealing with you know, computational approaches, writing codes, and trying to uh, understand what this data is telling us and uh, interpret this data. So basically it is always kind of a, a very, you know, mutual relationship and we, each of us couldn't exist without the other. So, uh, and I think that's basically how biology is now, that it, it really has to be this interdisciplinary um, uh, effort. So I was born in Poland and I grew up in Krakow, Poland for uh, until almost the end of my uh, college. And then a professor from University of Chicago invited me to come to his lab uh, at the University of Chicago in BMB department to um, conduct my research uh, at, the end, at the last year of my college in Poland. So then I defended my thesis and he really encouraged me to try to apply for PhD programs in the US and I did that, I actually started my uh, graduate school at Northwestern University and that's where I met my husband who got a job in one of the departments here at Penn State so I came along with him and I joined Hack's uh, Institute the program uh, Molecular Cellular and Integrated Biosciences at Hack and I'm I've been working on my PhD for five years now and it's been a really great experience. I'm a bioinformatician, um, so, for, so when I come to lab each day, I basically sit in my computer and analyze um, really big data, which is often overwhelming, but it's very, uh, you know, it brings you great satisfaction when everything starts coming together. So basically my day is, uh, you know, working at the computer, um, analyzing, um, like I said, big data, writing codes, um, working on uh, s s big servers like, for example, Bio, um, Biostar cluster, uh, computational cluster here at Hack. And, but also, you know, it's not only about just working at the computer, you, you know, I constantly interact with other people. I'm the sort of person that really has to get my ideas, you know, talk out my ideas in order to really fully, you know, understand uh, all the challenges that arise. So I would say that it's a very, you know, science is a social process. So you basically constantly talk with other fellow scientists and, and you know, make sure that everything is making sense. And, and yeah, so mostly it's basically a combination of computational work for me and just talking out my ideas and sharing ideas. Hug by, you know, allowing you to, um, discover what you want to do for yourself, whether you are more interested in experiments or computational approaches, it really was empowering to kind of be able to do both. And I was always fascinated by how is it that, you know, a single mutation in a gene can actually cause such profound um, changes. And um, so being able to actually work on these things now is really just amazing to me that I could go from, you know, being a very curious child to actually being able to work with, you know, indirectly with samples that come from patients and try to 
um, you know, increase our scientific understanding of diseases is really a great feeling and it brings great satisfaction. 